The name of the radioisotope is technetium-99. It is a radioactive form of the element technetium. The type of radiation produced by technetium-99 is gamma rays and beta rays. Technetium is used for research and medical purposes. For instance, diagnosing medical conditions of the organs such as the heart, lungs and detecting blocked arteries. Radioisotopes can be injected into the human blood during an exercise on a treadmill. This allows the doctors to follow the blood flow, concentrating on the heart. Heart disease is detected where doctors can see the reduced blood flowing through the arteries, feeding the heart. Doctors can diagnose risk of heart attack, possible damage to heart muscle and blocked arteries. Today, technetium-99 is used increasingly in medicine because it has a short half-life compared to thallium-201, which has a half-life of 72 hours. The half-life of a radioisotope is the time taken for the chemical to lose most of its radiation. Even though gamma rays can probe the body of the patient, it has a very short half-life of six and a half hours, and this helps decrease the danger to the patient from extended radiation. Problems of using this isotope. The problems of using technetium-99 is it gives off radiation in the form of gamma and beta rays. This has a bad effect on human tissue. In small doses, it can cause vomiting and nausea. In high doses, it causes cancer and skin irritation. The other risks are exposure to pregnant women, as it may harm the fetus and allergic reaction to the injected chemical. When you inject radioactive chemicals into the body for nuclear medicine imagery tests, the substances do not damage the body. In nuclear medicine imaging tests, injected radioactive substances do not harm the body. The radioisotopes used in nuclear medicine fall off quickly in a few hours. It also has less radiation levels than a typical X-ray or CT scan and are excreted in the urine or bowel movement. Even if the doses of radioactive chemicals such as technetium-99 administered are very small, nuclear medicine procedures do result in exposure to a small amount of radiation. Nuclear medicine has been used for more than 50 years and there are no, and there are no known long-term adverse effects from such low-dose studies.